Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode, we're going to be talking a little bit about visual styles. The easy way to customize your Windows installation and tweak its look and feel a little bit. There's all sorts of these things and with a simple patch of some system files, you can install unofficial themes that aren't created by Microsoft. But today we're going to focus on one of the officially released themes for Windows XP that I personally really like, and that is the the Zune theme. Ah yes, the Zune. Remember this line of media players? Yeah, it was Microsoft's attempt at competing with the iPod, and unfortunately for them it didn't work out too well, as after just six years the entire line was killed off. But hey, that's certainly a longer run than the Microsoft Kin, which lasted for only 48 days. I talk more about that in this video up in the cards if you want to go check that out. But yeah, the Zune is considered a failure, and it's something that we may cover in a future episode. Today, though, we're going to focus on one of the ways that Microsoft promoted their new line of MP3 players, and that was with a free downloadable theme for Windows XP. Now, like all official XP themes, except for the classic one, it is based around the Luna visual style, but it brings a completely different color scheme to Windows, and is designed to fit in with the Zune's design language. And it's honestly the closest that we ever got to a dark mode for Windows XP, at least officially. Now I've used this theme in a few of my videos and some people have asked about it. Maybe you've seen it before but didn't know it had anything to do with the Zune. And some people have wondered if you can even still get the thing today. Well, you can. I've actually uploaded a copy to the Internet Archive and I'll have the link down below if you want to go and try this out. But uh, yeah, in today's video we're going to be checking it out. I'll be showing you how to install it, which is a very straightforward process. And we'll be seeing how it compares to the regular Luna theme that comes with Windows XP. So this is the file right here that you download. And just to show you, if we go into properties here and go to digital signatures, we can see that this was digitally signed by Microsoft on Friday, November 3rd, 2006 at 1021 and 26 seconds AM for those who are really concerned with details here. So yeah, let's go ahead and run it. And obviously the nice thing about these official themes is uh, they come in typically an MSI file. So you don't have to worry about copying files over manually, but honestly, that isn't that difficult to do. But uh, this is a little bit more convenient here. So we're going to agree to the license agreement and we're going to click install and it will install the Zune desktop theme and it will come up with the display properties once it's finished. There's no restart needed or anything like that. And here it is. So we're just going to apply the theme and boom, there you go. So here is the Zune theme. Now, really, the interesting thing about this is the only thing that identifies this as a Zune theme is the desktop wallpaper. You can see it says Zune right here, but we can go to properties and change that. We can absolutely just switch it back to the Bliss wallpaper or any other wallpaper, obviously. But yeah, that is literally the only reference to the Zune uh, line of media players throughout the entire theme, aside from in properties here. Obviously, the name of it is Zune, but there's nothing in the start menu or in Windows Explorer that identifies this as a Zune theme, which I just find interesting because, you know, the entire reason this thing exists was to promote the Zune line of media players or MP3 players. So I find it interesting that Microsoft didn't really brand this with, like, for example, a Zune logo down here, but maybe most people wouldn't really like having a Zune logo in Windows Explorer. Also a neat tidbit is this was the very first official theme from Microsoft to change the color of the start button down here. It's obviously normally green, they change it to orange, and they did release a couple of other themes, for example, the one that comes with POS Ready 2009, that changes the color of the start button, but this was the very first one to do that. I think that this orange accent color being present throughout, I mean, you can see the arrow here in all programs is orange. We go to my computer here, the system tasks, other places and details, panes on the left side are orange with that nice uh, gradient uh, gray background. I just think it looks really, really nice. I mean, this here, I mean, check this out. Like, yeah, it's really simple stuff, but I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, that's really all there is to it, guys. A bit of a quicker video today, but I just wanted to get this one out there for those of you who maybe uh, had seen this theme before. Maybe you didn't know it was the Zune theme. Maybe you saw this in one of my videos and thought, I want to get this theme for my Windows XP computer. Well, here 
here's how you do it. It's super simple, super easy, and of course, best of all, it's completely free. So if you guys enjoy this episode, if you wanna see more like this, definitely be sure to give this one a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do multiple times every single week on this channel. And as always, I wanna thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.